Hi guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com. I talk about psychic development, personal development, and spiritual growth. And someone asked me to talk about specifically when um, you're born into a body with a disability, a physical or a mental disability. And while I'm not an expert on this, there are certain things I can talk to um, to you about and that's why I told her I could make a little video. Um, again, I'm not an expert or a pro about all this, but from what I've seen, there are certain things that do come up related to karma and related to the spiritual path of somebody, of a, a spirit that chooses to incarnate into a body that's different from um, other people's bodies and a perfectly healthy, healthily formed body. And first things first i would like to dispel any notion that there's any karma related to you being bad before and this is what you get of course every situation is different and every person is unique but my experience and from what i've seen is the spirits who are born into bodies that are different than everyone else's bodies are very evolved souls who have chosen to go through a life with a difficult kind of situation to learn to adapt to. And if you'll notice, people who share their lives with people who have disabilities are also learning a great deal. So if you are in a body that is that is different, you're just by virtue of that, the people who are sharing your life with you are learning some pretty huge, powerful lessons as well. You're helping everyone to evolve and grow. And that's wonderful. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because that's that's what we are here to do. And you warriors in in bodies that are unique and different, all of our bodies are unique and different, but in bodies that have a, I don't want to use the word disadvantage because that's kind of like, lame to put it that way but um you're you're undergoing like a massive lifetime of like massive spiritual growth and of of shifts and transformations and so what are some of those things i i can give you an example of something that i remember way back when i was a teenager i went to the movies with my boyfriend and it was um in orange county which is like a conservative place I was in my late teens, maybe it was early 20s, and um, the theater was packed, and it was a shark movie, like a really dramatic, scary, big, epic shark movie. And so we were watching this movie, and there, for the like the first shark attack started to happen, you know, where the shark's like, ah, and the person's like, ah, and the buildup was there, and everyone's like on the edge of their seat. And then in the theater, like somewhere in the theater, this boy goes, shark, shark, he's going to get you. He's going to eat you. And we were like, what? And you look around, like everybody's like, who's doing this? And it was this boy in his late teens. And he was with a boy and girl who were also like around the same age. And they were like, "Uh, like, you know, they were just like, it's okay, (laughs) you know, but, um, it was shocking kind of it was so loud and he wasn't scared he was just saying like like watch out shark you know to the person and so then every subsequent shark attack he did the same thing so the next time it was like and everyone's like ah. he's like shark shark to the point where rather than like being all scared and stuff we started laughing like nearly everyone in the theater thought that this was amusing like nobody was like I'm so mad you know everyone was like this is pretty funny and um when we left the theater I I noticed them and the kids the the kids they were all all three of them together like the ones that were with him like were not embarrassed they weren't looking around like who's looking at us and who's like oh they're with this guy that's that's clearly like got something going on where he's you know I think he was autistic or something um they were just hanging out with their friend and I thought what an awesome example of people who are cool who are cool with people who are not like everyone else and 
they set the tone for like everybody. It was awesome. And of course, I've never forgotten that. But I wanted to share that story with you because it's, to me, a classic example of um, what what you can teach people if, if you're in a body with, with a disability, a physical or mental disability. Um, it's, it's very interesting. And of course, if you're on the spiritual path, you're you're very um you're going to be very aware of that and if you're you know if you're i'm trying to say i guess why i'm stumbling here is i'm thinking because we don't like to think that not everybody is cool like that but not everybody is you know there are people that are very low level and and don't don't see things that way but um it's a very again a very strong spirit that that takes that on to 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 go through life at a at a disadvantage or with a body that's not functioning um that well and then you have to figure out okay i'm here in this body like how do i use this vessel to achieve like what i'm here to achieve um you know and i i'm I'm like pausing again because i'm thinking i've tried to do this video a couple of times and i just messed up the one before so i'm getting tired of like i'm like talking and stuff but um if you can the person who asked me to do this was talking about specifically in her case a, a mental disability and one thing i would say that's come up in a couple of readings i've done with people that have a chemical imbalance uh severe enough to um, warrant taking medication is to not carry feelings of guilt or feeling bad because you have this thing the hard part about that that is so tricky is you look like everybody else so people look at you and think well you're crazy like you're not going to look at someone and say well yeah you can't walk you're like oh that person can't walk but if you look at somebody that looks normal and they're behaving erratically or differently, the, the human response is to be like, what's wrong with you? Which is very cruel and evil, but human beings are, they, it's not like they're planning to be evil, although some are, but I think you get what I'm saying, right? So you automatically have that to deal with. And then then you're, you've are you got to deal with like, well, what is wrong with me in my head? Like, I look like everyone else, but I, you know, that's super hard. Um, and for you to have that, to be born in a body with that means you're up for the challenge and that you can deal with it. And there's a lesson here and I wouldn't psychoanalyze a lesson. Everybody's got lessons. And I would say one of the biggest ones is to be cool with who you are and to be like, I know that I'm, I'm different, more obviously different than everybody else is different from everyone else, but I'm going to deal with this as best I can and I'm going to get support and be with people who are understanding and um, that is a, a gigantic challenge and not an easy one and and it's the strong souls the st souls that are teacher spirits that are teacher guides that are healer guides healer spirits so to speak that are born into bodies like that because you're teaching everybody around you powerful lessons. So um, be brave and strong in that if, if you're dealing with, with something like that. Um, and know that everyone around you is learning and growing as well. Um, I know someone who has never been able to walk and so she uses a wheelchair and she's taught the children in her life to be tolerant and understanding. You would be surprised at how many people stare at someone with a disability, at how many people um, are just plain rude and intolerant. And those that are not, or those that she's teaching from a young age to be loving and to understand that, that people are different and that um, they're just as capable. If you're in a different sort of body, you're just as capable as anybody else. You just need to do things a little bit differently. Um, it, it's, it's very, very important. And I'm sorry if I'm not saying this as eloquently as I meant to say it, but um, 
I hope that that explains a little bit of what I'm getting at, the gist of it. Um, if you're interested in learning more about spiritual growth and karma and soul lessons and all of that soul purpose, um, send me an email. If there's something you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. I'm here to help and I do videos every single week. And um, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And for more info about intuitive development and psychic development and personal growth, check out krishanti.com. And that's all for today. And thanks for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.